तो हेलो एवरीवन वेरी वेलकम टू ऑलिव बोर्ड एग्री कोचिंग एंड टुडे वी आर हैविंग अ वेरी स्पेशल सेशन एंड दैट आल्सो विद अ वेरी स्पेशल पर्सन आई वेलकम एस रवि कुमार सर टू आर स्पेशल सेशन एंड आई विल इंट्रोड्यूस टू यू ऑल एंड यू ऑल वुड बी मेसमराइज बाय सर एक्सपीरियंस ऑल्सो एज वेर एज ओवरऑल प्रोफाइल ऑल्सो सो सर इज अ एक्स जनरल मैनेजर of bank of india and that also in osaka japan uh, he is also a ibps uh, panel member also and at the same time uh, the most interesting thing is that he started his journey as an afo officer in bank of india so uh, today in this discussion let's try to gain some experience also sir will also guide us as well as let's try to gain various things from the journey uh, of ravi sir uh, as he started his overall career from af officer to being uh, general manager and that too in osaka japan uh, so sir first of all uh, kumbhava to you uh, and uh, well and welcome uh, to this special session uh, i will uh, begin with not with a question but a general discussion uh, with which i think this would be a good ice breaker for all of us sir uh, whenever we look at afo examination or any banking examination to start as an afo officer or any initiating assistant manager and then being a general manager that too in overseas osaka japan this is a huge feat so can you just share various steps or maybe overall journey experience of yours from being afo officer joining as a afo officer to being general manager can you share briefly your journey and some steps yes suraj uh, kumbhama arigato gozaimasu so uh, hello all uh, afo aspirants a uh, good evening to you all agriculture officer is a i mean i can say that is a special uh, uh, status in banking industry apart from uh, four agriculture government departments and other uh, departments so we begin our journey as a scale one officer if you are writing ibps exam and joining the bank as scale one but uh, uh, there are opportunities for lateral entries also that is a scale 3 scale 4 as a specialist officer for agriculture finance so it depends upon uh, from bank to bank and their policies and how they want to recruit uh, as per their requirement and shortages in the respective cadres but uh, as of now all public sector banks have good number of uh, uh, agriculture officers so agriculture finance officer is only a term used by a few psbs but somewhere it is called as field officers somewhere it agriculture officers so the designation is i mean the name is irrelevant here but see whether it's a probation officer or agriculture officer or a legal officer or whatever discipline you join the bank once you are committed to your respective work once you score a good satisfactory career then going overseas is not at all a problem or going anywhere is not at all a problem it has no relevant or no relevance with what you are studying or what uh, job roles you are performing it is only a, your commitment attitude behavior and your performance in the respective fields see uh, day by day people are joining uh, everyone everybody will join in scale one and you also joined scale one four years back so you will not stop there you will be pushed ahead and your recruitment will take place so likewise you can uh, i mean go upward 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 but the main basic principle is commitment to your work that's all gm is a very small thing nowadays gm is a very small position you have I many more position over and above that that would be your modesty sir actually to say but it's a great fit to achieve actually uh, definitely yeah it looks like uh, but uh, uh, nowadays within 18 to 20 years a aspirant a scale one officers can become general manager in any public sector bank the career growth opportunities are like that there is a merit channel this is a fast track channel and few people they shift from one bank to other bank and there they get the advantage of scale promotions instead of getting scale promotions inside one institution so that is every opportunity is it's on par with any provisional officer or any officer in psb agriculture officer that means you have a qualification of agriculture 
over and above what others are having. So it's a specialist cadre and a special, I mean, uh, category in the bank. And you can always go for conversion to general banking officer at a, any point of time as per the promotion channels the uh, individual banks are having. So step by step, you can achieve this one. So Suraj, there is nothing like uh, uh, it takes more time uh, or less time for a probation officer, more time for a AFO, nothing like that. It is same for all, opportunity to everybody. Okay, okay, sir. So overall, like journey, you are saying that it doesn't really matter what the profile is, but actually uh, it all matters that how much our commitment is. More our commitment is, the journey uh, becomes more and more enriching. Uh, uh, very well said, sir. Uh, sir, next thing which I wanted to ask, uh, it's been a very long time you joined as an AFO officer or agriculture officer. Uh, what were initially when you joined the bank? Uh, bank uh, do you remember like what were your responsibilities when you initially joined as an agriculture officer? Yeah. So for everybody, uh, initial to join agriculture officer duties are one and the same. But as per the requirement, somebody, I mean, few people may, may be posted in rural areas and few people may be in urban areas and few people in the metropolitan. So as per the requirement, they will post. Once posted, your roles will be, I mean, being with the farmers, being with the small scale entrepreneurs and the overall development of that rural economy is the main motto. So you gain experience in the villages by staying in the village and staying attached to the branch. And in some banks, there is an opportunity that you will be visiting nearby branches as an overall um, um, agriculture officer. And you will be looking after what the agriculture finance look like. So basically it is a target driven, but at the same time, there is a lot of opportunities for innovation. So the roles basically is to stay with the farmers, what they require and what government requires. And according to the government policies, what circulars and policies the banks have formulated, basing on that, how you are with the farmers. It is not only loaning, it is an overall development of a rural person. That means not only loans, it's overall development. I mean, for example, if the children require education loan or if they require to deposit some surplus, or if they want to build a house. So everything, an integrated farming economy is the main motto of our country. A farmer has to be developed from all angles. And that's why we generally in the college days, my, I mean, the aspirants might be knowing that agriculture is the best culture. So that is the theme behind this. So roles will be basically in the, initially you will be in the, uh, Front line. First, you will learn what is, uh, I mean, banking. What are the, uh, I mean, transactions? What are the various types of transactions? What is the technical systems that you are having in front of you? That systems, and then the software. I mean, how the how it works. It's not that software engineering I am telling, but how the system looks like, and then how to post the entries. It is common for everybody. Even provision officer, agriculture officer. First, they will be given an induction training and then front desk work and then later uh, slowly they will be absorbed onto loans yeah sir so uh, like you are having a brief experience from afo to being general manager and today also you would be interviewing many of the candidates being a ibps panel member do you think uh, when uh, today's afo officer as compared to when you joined as afo officer have the responsibilities changed uh, and is the role become, becoming more hectic or is it all depending on how we are looking at it? Yeah. So that it is, uh, I mean, it is not hectic. We can say that it is versatile. Okay. Yes. See, the positively you have to take everything. Not only for agriculture officer, for every bank officer, the recent banking trends are changing day by day. Now digital banking, tomorrow, no face banking, anything may come. The aspirant should be ready to grasp everything and they should embrace every change. So when we joined, it is a manual. So a lot of ledgers and a lot of books we, we, we will carry. We will be lifting like a, a bodybuilder, so many heavy ledgers. Now it is not there. 
Now, more or less, you can say that drudgery or you can say that tiresome, tiredness, that is now nothing is there. Whatever you have, strains on your eyes, that's all. That you have to control. So, uh, system-based banking, now, if you go to even uh, in the uh, rural areas, tab banking is also already there. Many officers are carrying their iPads and they are doing uh, business. And uh, we have helpers, our business correspondents all over the rural areas. They help us. So it is a more of a monitoring supervisory control rather than doing our own jobs always 100%. I mean, putting a labor. That is very less now. Now what you need is an innovative approach. How to reach to a person? Well, by phone or physically or some Facebook or some Twitter. So this is common for everybody, whether you are working in rural areas or in a big towns or if it's a professional officer or agricultural finance officer, latest trends of banking have to be, I mean, uh, learned. After that, here, uh, more or less, I can say that now the life is easier. See, one particular, I joined in a one particular state where finding electrical bulb is, a, I mean, uh, is a good uh, place. So where I stayed, we do not have electricity. We, uh, and uh, in fact, the room where I am staying and where the bank is there, there are the two, only two places where we have toilets. That is the age. I mean, gone age. But now I visited the same place before one month before my retirement. And you have beautiful roads, beautiful scenic uh, spots. I do not know that so many tourist spots are the, were there uh, around my branch. But now I, I, I could visualize uh, the vast development across the country. Logistics, buses, and uh, other logistics like Swiggy, everywhere. So it is a it's a life changing. I mean, uh, country has developed a lot. So here living conditions are far more better when when compared to our ages. That is late eighties. Yes, sir. This this is a very good comparison, sir. You set in because when you started, you had uh, the set of your own challenges. Uh, uh, technology unavailability, resources, amenities were not possibly present at that time. At the same time, today, if you see, there are other challenges also. For example, maybe related to climate, maybe related to maybe uh, other things, agricultural challenges, maybe which were not profound as those were earlier. And very good solutions, sir, you gave that it is all about how we look at it and how we try to uh, give solutions to different problems. Yes. Sir, uh, one thing now, uh, let me just take to you uh, that uh, the I think you rose to a position or a feat of being general manager that also in Osaka, Japan. So it was not only a professional change, but also a cultural change for you. So overall, what was your experience when you first time stepped in Japan? And then what were the different changes you did? In banking also, you can tell as well as profession, maybe private, this also, sir, you can share with us. It's a very interesting thing. That's why I thought I should ask. Yeah, yeah. See, overseas assignment is a dream for any officer. So, because it is not that, uh, I mean, you earn more. Whatever we earn there, it is, in rupee terms, it is equivalent to our standard of living here. Yes. So, there will not be much, grow, I mean, rise in your salary, but there, there will be definitely um, financial comfort will be there. More than that, you are roaming around the world. That is the concept you are having. And by the time, if you are married, then your children can see foreign country. Yes. Um, uh, and uh, they can enjoy uh, and they can uh, get them educated also. For that matter, uh, my son, uh, uh, of course, he is, he, he is a B.Tech uh, completed. And after that, he did a diploma in Japanese there in Japan for one year. Now he is a hot cake in that field, uh, in software field, Japanese language. Okay. So like this, I mean, you have uh, several opportunities there. Now cultural differences. See. Um, now everywhere our Indians are are in large number. Likewise, in Japan also, we have a very good community there, Indian community across the all over India. So it is nothing like uh, that you are staying somewhere in uh, foreign. But of course, the facilities when you compare uh, Japan and India, that is most advanced. 
and uh, the whatever systems they are having they are full proof by fraction of second very prompt and uh, the surprising thing is that we do become like that day we never be late rather we are very early to the office and we i mean um, follow every traffic line every traffic rule every group rule and uh, how to behave with the people because it is of course our uh, already who are there they will tell us for if any something uh, a mishap happens in a one's family in uh, japan you have to wear a black coat and a black tie yes. and uh, black tie is for that specifically and we, uh, that should not be used for uh, normal uh, banking uh, activities are normal so black coat black tie but in summer they conserve electricity by wearing casuals even in office see this is the i mean uh, only changes i am telling only comparing it is not like here here um, i mean we always see that we should be in suit but there to conserve energy they promote casuals in the i mean summer so that the electricity consumption will be less so to that minute extent they think now work wise work wise see uh, the discipline that we learned in india in the work in the banking the same thing apply there also nothing changes and local staff are from native state that clerical staff are from native state i mean native country and we officers are from india so th there is a great opportunity how to mingle with the people and uh, and they are uh, i mean very prompt to their core the local staff as per their country norms so we have to fall in line with the, with those uh, norms and regulations very fast so this is one thing and uh, working culture they are very strict at uh, what you say to the people even though we are uh, customers are indians we have to maintain that decorum as long as we are in the bank once we are out of the bank on the streets a gale lag jao lage mane karo ye karo wo karo chalta hai but in the office we have four as a professional there in japan and uh, without calling anybody you cannot visit anybody even our own indian customers you have to take the appointment and all proposals all uh, new business will be done over the lunch if it is the successful business successful thing then over the dinner the rest things happen okay. so a brief formal meeting will be inside the office and remaining things will be very leisurely casually so because the people will come out with their ideas if you sit in the office they have some phobia or they may not reveal everything what they wanted to or you cannot extract the information what you want so you should be very freely engaged with them and that's why all meetings shall be outside okay sir that was a very nice insight actually from you got to learn many of the things i think many of the students also will uh, like really enriched with such a experience sir uh, one personal question i will ask like related to this only what was that one thing in japan which you got and you just carried along with you in india also anything it may be your personal anything cultural thing anything habit anything which you learned in japan and you brought back to india and you are still doing that <laughs> so it is very difficult because see there is no much difference be between our culture and their culture only our culture plus utmost discipline is japanese culture nothing else yes their worship their beliefs and also uh, their uh, behavior everything is ours like nothing much difference is there they also respect elders they also they are afraid of a black cat coming in the way and uh, they don't cut their nails in the night so everything everything is just ours but what i learned is the i mean punctuality discipline and the uh, i mean the way they decorate their houses and the articles they produce there they are very much perfect i mean uh, their longevity is much more than what the material we use here so some articles which i have purchased had it been purchased and kept here they, it would have been uh, spoiled but 
the quality that they manufacture, they put in the heart. Of course, cost is also very, very high. Very, very high. Uh, another thing is that what their free mind, that is the only thing that we can carry from there. You have to free your emotions, your free in mind every day at one, one a time in a day. That means either in the evening or in the morning, you free yourself. You free all your thoughts. That is also there in our culture also. It is there, of course. Transcendental meditation, we call it TM. So the same thing, they, it is also the same thing. So uh, we can improve ourselves, our own culture by staying in Japan. That is the only thing I can say. Yes, sir. Sir, now I will uh, ask you uh, something, a topic. We will just maneuver to a different topic. Uh, as uh, with so much of uh, years, you have been a part of uh, Bank of India. Uh, within your whole tenure, uh, what were some of the important projects which you handle? And you can name some of, or you can even name one. And you can also tell or discuss, share with us some of the challenges which you have faced and how did you solve them? Okay. So the project uh, uh, I was given when I am uh, uh, in scale four, that means a scale three and scale four transition, that is business process re-engineering. Business process re-engineering. Uh, that is the new uh, new year of entry of digital banking. That is internet. And all those things are coming slowly into the banking. So our thing is that we have to, I mean, make the staff aware of these all these channels. Internet banking and then diamond customers and then silver customers and relationship manager concept. These are the, I mean, we call it as a, uh, star Gaurav. The project is named as Star Gaurav. That means star is the emblem of Bank of India. So we are introducing new ways of uh, banking into the bank. So that project is called Star Gaurav. And uh, it was uh, outside management firm has managed that. We are we were in uh, joint venture with them. We have uh, agreement with them. So through that project, I was posted to Kolkata, that is West Bengal. I have to implement all these changes of uh, internet. That means, uh, and a, um, a developing a one officer per branch as a relationship manager for all uh, customer, I mean corporate customers and diamond customers, how to classify them as diamond, platinum, silver, according to their uh, profile, whether loans or deposits are a combination of that. And we have a dedicated self for that relation manager and he is exclusive for those people. And the mass banking is separated from this banking. Mass banking will be the other counter where so many uh, people will be there. And that is uh, our usual uh, routine job. Okay. So establishing the relation manager and giving him a system, giving a system independently to an officer, that was a big thing during those times. Now it is uh, everywhere. So, and that too with internet connection, ISD, STD call facility. So this is the project where we can inculcate the best practices into the branch team. And at the same time, under my uh, leadership, there will be a team, for, a team for sales team. They will go out, they will uh, make camps in, uh, uh, by, uh, in car dealers, uh, car showrooms. They will make camps and elaborate arrangements. You may be knowing now, you know, it's a very common thing. Yeah. And then there is another processing center team where all these, uh, I mean, proposals are processed there. They were reducing the burden on the head of the, I mean, uh, on branches. So that it is, a, it is also now common, it is very common now. But that is the initiative we have taken. And uh, we did it very successfully in Kolkata. After that, uh, we came down to Hyderabad and we trained other state officers in the same line. And we have sent them back to their respective states to implement this project. This is, a, I mean, first project. Um, and after that, of course, there are many projects which I cannot reveal, but it is in the fields of uh, fraud management. You know, uh, digital frauds, digital fraud. financial frauds. So, and uh, we have a project which I have initiated and I managed a technical project uh, which forewarns that there is something. By it, it uh, goes to the transactions, every filter seat, and according to certain uh, laid rules, it will throw alerts. 
these alerts are negotiated and you may be having uh, immediately once you uh, some google 2 rupees goes immediately a call comes to you sir whether you have done this or not yeah. so this is the projects uh, now recent times we are we were doing so now you can know that i joined as agriculture officer but ended up in uh, so a different field yeah so likewise and uh, as agriculture officer a gm in charge of agriculture department we have run several projects several projects one for gold loans money how to i mean make uh, the uh, loan process easy and the online uh, loaning process and then how you serve your uh, uh, i mean uh, farmers uh, cooperatives or farmer growers associations there are fpos farmer producing organizations you may be knowing na? Uh, now uh, so many malls are there you you can purchase vegetables from there so it is like that only they encourage farmer growers corporations and they take uh, their produce from for them so this is the projects uh, that uh, that were run uh, during when i headed uh, agriculture department that is a rural department priority sector department we call it yeah. and this fraud risk management i can't say more than that okay sir so sir really like uh, like very great projects like you handled uh sir i will take you to the next question which uh, like i would like to ask uh like what is the role of a general manager for any public sector bank and uh if we consider your like experience as a general manager uh what were your day-to-day -day activities and can you just take us throughout your day as a general manager what were the things you used to do yeah so uh, while we grow in the ladder from operational issues, we will be shifting our focus to supervisory issues. And from supervisory issues, we go up to oversight. Oversight means, friends, don't be confused with overlooking. Oversight means it is a supervisory hawk eye. You, you are observing something with a very great caution and you will be observing whether any error is happening or any good thing is happening and how to rectify it, that is called oversight. That means above, like an hawk, eagle. So general manager is a combination of supervisory and oversight. And uh, the most important responsibility is that we are general manager is in between the board of the bank and the branches. That means we are in between just like a bridge. The policies or the aspirations of the board or management we bring down and we perform, we get it performed at the branch levels and we give, uh, I mean, facilities to them in so many, uh, uh, like uh, uh, some uh, measures to them to perform, outperform and the results we again give back to management, take feedback and uh, wherever there are, there is, I mean, uh, improvement areas are to happen we have to plug it and make it more more and more performing so it is like a bridge yes sir yeah sir i got it sir actually very crucial role uh, and you explained it very very well sir uh, initially when you joined uh, in uh, bank of india so now if you see the role of officers is very very important as they are handling huge businesses it may be related to lending practices, it may be related to any loans, it may be related to sanctioning on any other field. So how officers do manage uh, if stress is there, if stress-like situation is there? And other than that, uh, are there any compulsory targets to be met? And if yes, then uh, like how do officers do handle that? Any your experience in this context? Yeah. So as I told you, as a general manager, we have to make branches at comfort. They should feel comfort. And at the same time, we give numbers to the management. I mean, numbers means uh, business growth. Here, uh, target means, yes, target should be there. Otherwise, uh, from where, I mean, to which thing you aim, you have to aim at a target only. Then that is the your dashboard. Then you have to see your performance reaching that target. Now, stress in the target means it's only a psychological. It is not a physical uh, or it is not uh, unintentional. Stress is intentional alone. That means 
if you if you are given the target you have to understand the target first so you have above you as an agriculture officer above you you have a branch manager above that zonal manager or regional manager so there are certain hierarchy people are there so they will hand uh, hand hold you in having how to reach the target they will give so many ideas because you are asking me my experience like that basing on their experience they give you ideas now the people if they are i mean prone to stress means they are failing in understanding the targets or they are mixing their roles this is most important mixing their roles while in the house they may be thinking about the bank while in the bank they are thinking about the house so the mixing up of roles is plays havoc with everybody if you are in the bank it is for the bank and only for that work alone in the lunch time okay but it is the main thing is that the stress is being intentional the control is also in your hands if you push the targets or the reaching the target timing till the last minute you will be in soup you have to prioritize now 20% 30% 40% you prioritize the targets and apportion the target so that you can reach the target very well the majority of the people in any bank they reach the targets only few people can't reach the target and very few people they are prone to stress so it is a normal uh, statistics or data um, everybody can have there is nothing like stress will be there nothing like that it is how you accustom your system your body or your mind to your job that is the only sir you pointed it very very well so i will uh, take one more question related to that only as you said uh, mixing the things like private Uh, and your of course career so uh, in context of your job satisfaction like uh, as well as your work life balance uh, can you shed some of your experiences that uh, in context of job job satisfaction uh, if you look at your stellar career would it have been any better and even whatever years you spent at bank of india what about the work life balance both things your sir you please explain to us so work life balance uh, see uh it is uh, the quality is read right from your college days it is not that you acquire in a job no not at all so people and that's why parents are elders they say that if you study well or you behave well in the college automatically you behave everywhere very well so work life balance you see some people uh, they are very balanced even in college level i mean very balanced very polished like uh, and some people they are very sketchy and uh, so you can find the people because um, batchmates they will be meeting now and then everywhere you can uh, judge them that there is no change in, uh, in 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 one particular behavior so it will not change if you join a afo or uh, you join an is officer nothing like that so it is uh, read right from your education now after joining the job here work life balance means uh, especially you should not ignore your family you should not ignore your family and transfers are bound to happen and one good thing nowadays that all officers are given either in the native state or the neighboring state it is not like that in the olden days that we serve so much uh, uh, north of the in north of india right from the south it is not like that now yes. so um, already our hr our human resources uh, principle is that in the banks uh, that make them more comfortable so that they can perform work life balance that if you understand the family needs and if you understand the uh, uh, anticipation or expectations of the management you can easily maintain the balance but nobody should feel that you are ignoring the either your house or office that ignore word is very dangerous it should not be felt either by your family members or by the management or the branch people that should be there yes sir i got it actually a yeah, very good insight sir and uh, it was little bit philosophical also that it doesn't really matters that where we are working rather it is all about how we are uh, carrying our responsibilities our duties very very carefully it right i think it starts from the college school itself how we are handling the things uh sir uh, now i will take you towards uh, like apart from banking let us move towards one more question where is which is very very essential so looking at agricultural scenario uh, whenever we consider agricultural career 
or even overall when we are talking about agriculture uh uh even when we go into the society agriculture has not uh, recently got a very good limelight so uh, in this context can you just share that it, it is is it a worth career to choose and uh, even if student choose that career what is the future for indian agriculture also and uh, from career point of view also as well as overall agriculture what is your saying this See, agriculture never dies. If that dies, then we will not be there in the globe. Okay. So, in one or other thing, we have to produce the food. Now, not only the food, different types of foods we have to produce and that is to be processed. Now, agriculture is not only the farming activity. It is the agro-based industries and then uh, there are many other uh, 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 facets or avenues we have in agriculture. Now, nowadays, the agro processing industry is very much uh, on rice because storing of uh, products and then uh, processing the products, whatever is produced, that is also equally important as farming. I mean, raising the crops. And in raising also, there are several ways, not only the food crops, you are, you are ornamental, that is exports. That is also equally important. Uh, now, the uh, climatic conditions, if you take, now there are controlled climatic, uh, um, I mean, um, agriculture is there, that in green houses, poly houses. So, everywhere you have advanced techniques, I mean, drawn into agriculture. Now, as agriculture officer, when you are in the villages, what you have to do is that support the farmer to adopt that agriculture techniques. So, it is entirely dependent upon us. So, if you are in the state government, then agriculture officer there, he will be visiting and he will be experimenting with the crops and he will be contacting the progressive farmers of that particular uh, area and he is, uh, he is developing some uh, something other for the farmers. And bank officers, not only loans, it is an overall development. If um, a farmer can, uh, I mean, grow the crops, but how he how can he sell it? How can he sell it? Their market yards. You have to be in touch with marketing yards. And there, who are purchasing those produce and where they are going? There you have agro industries. And to the agro industries, how that is transported? Again, that is the cold storage logistics is there. So finally, the consumer. And in order to link the farmers directly with the consumer, you have online facility. So, better go for that. And uh, there are farmers organizations are there making associations of the farmers. So, agriculture never die. Uh, but uh, see, uh, farmers are facing difficulties because of climatic, um, these ones. This only bank people cannot do anything. It is a bigger policy. It is a bigger policy. And agriculture being in the concurrent list, that means uh, equally, uh, I mean, uh, uh, this one, uh, central and also uh, state. So, it is not that only banks can help everything, but whatever policies they lay, the central or state government, if you implement it very well, then you can easily, uh, I mean, go with the system. Now, coming to, if it is not a banking career, if it is not a banking career, where to go? See, uh, if it is not, again, then you can go for research, or you can go for a startup, or you can go for a, I mean, even direct farming itself, or you can uh, make a, a business like agri clinics, agri business, agri clinics. That means uh, you are a plant doctor. That uh, that type of uh, things. See in the towns, you can see that uh, um, if you go to the nurseries, so they, there you you will find somebody. Uh, Sir, you use this, use that. Then it will be I mean more productive. Or this is a flowering uh, vitamins like that. So that is another career. Now. Uh, what you and agriculture is a degree, so you can go anywhere, wherever any um, I mean minimum requirement is a bachelor's degree, you can appear to that also. And don't think that uh, if you go for IPS and uh, your uh, study is waste. As I told you earlier, so many qualities are acquired in the college days itself. That means sharpness, or how to talk to the people, or how to write assignments or how to impress upon the seniors. So everything, everything is love. You, you are learned right from you, you are born. So whatever you acquired, 
that is useful in every in every job if you are police officer so having a good rapport with the rural people having a good rapport with the farmers is very important so you, you need not consider yourself your subject as a waste when you are going for ias by taking the political administration or sociology as optional subjects so that is only for to i mean to enter into but your basic knowledge or basic discipline will never defeat you anywhere definitely sir the knowledge which we acquire uh, it may be during our graduation it may be whatever it will never go waste in one or other time it will be always enriching and helpful not only for us but for people around us it's a very uh, good thing sir what you pointed out sir other thing which i would take you to now uh, a interesting question from student point of view uh, yeah. uh, and a question which maybe you may guide a lot being a ibps panel member uh, actually i'm just asking you as a panel member uh, a interviewer during the interview what are the things they look into a ideal candidate and then you also continue that if you want to prepare for any type of interview it may be even afo or any such competitive exam interview what should a student start doing what are the preparation strategies to follow that's it yeah so first of all uh, nowadays give, i mean given the competition the first thing is to join a some educational on online channel first okay and uh, just like hollywood or anything so that is mainly because there the experience is uh, accumulated together yes. you you can have what is happening and what could happen now that is one thing and second thing is uh, making yourself abreast with the latest developments see here uh, in the interview don't be bogged down by the data that you have read elsewhere yes data nobody asks so don't bogged by the data data is not at all important you can make an approximation also that means what is the population of india you can say 140 and odd crores sir so that is will be enough it is not that 148 crores point to 22 lakhs and uh, um, i mean few people are uh, just taking birth no no nothing like that so don't be get bogged by data and what the panel members see your aptitude how you are behaving see for bank job a decency is most important politeness is more important yes sir and uh, if you do not know you can say i don't know or i can refer and tell back so that is a type of attitude now as a bank officer if you, if you ask me any uh, banking uh, i mean some scheme i may not be able to remember now so i cannot say whatever uh, i know or uh, something miss selling you say na miss selling so miss selling is a very bad concept so in the interview panel also how you represent yourself is the most important secondly how you are comfortable whether you are feeling tension or you are uh, i mean afraid of the questions before they, they are asked so these are the things these are the things we require and uh, once you are from uh, agriculture there will be uh, some agriculture topic will definitely be there will be questions and subject specialist will also will always be there and he will be asking not the uh, age old questions but only latest trends he will be asking and uh, moreover if you don't answer and that that is not end it is not end to that and uh, your main focus will be their main focus will be what is your approach see subject knowledge is another thing we are not uh, attending a research interview or we are not conducting a project so we are joining a job where we deal with uh, money machine and men that is people we basically deal with so dealing with the people is not that uh, you, uh, your mind should be i mean filled with all types of subjects that is not the thing how you approach the people how you impress upon them that is most important yes sir very like very insightful sir any very insightful words sir uh, now we come to an end uh, like only last question remains sir uh, any other advice tip or any guide to all the future afo aspirants also as well as agricultural graduates if you want to give you can share that with the students sir see only one thing bank job is not the only job you have in the market see if you fail in the bank jobs you need not uh, i mean uh, get discouraged you have i mean something is awaiting you something best is awaiting you 
so failure at one thing will not i mean it is not that you end so if it is uh, if it is not a bank job then go for some uh, developmental courses and there are so many people who are agriculture graduates but ended up in software see software it is not that only btech students will go yes sir. that is not at all a thing now even btech students also they go for outside courses packages customs customized courses and then they will join so it is not that only bank job can do but you can win any any job once you are confident that you can do that the further that you have a commitment and a, uh, a uh, i mean a hard work means what i mean that uh, entire night you have to wake up and read no not at all like that whatever data in, you utilize it fully and then give a break and then have a, a a a plan how to study and if you do not know that then so many each uh, i mean online ch i mean uh, educative channels are there just to go through they will advise so that is not an end to be that and uh, for agriculture see it's a professional course if doctor he if he cannot join a government hospital he can go for a private clinic if a private clinic because he is very i mean he he has no network in that uh, city and he doesn't know the clients then he his private practice may not be successful at the same time he is not uh, uh, i mean getting any government hospital jobs then he he can contact some private hospitals and join as a apprentice see main thing is that you should not feel ashamed of uh, i mean joining a smaller job and then growing big if it is not an officers go for clerks go for clerks there are so many attender jobs are there attending people attenders sub subordinate staff we call them that is the even starting uh, attender attender uh, this one within 5 years they are becoming clerks and within 3 years they are becoming officers that means after 8 years they are officers in a bank especially nowadays uh, the young people they are doing like that they are finding op such opportunities if it is not that go for then uh, civil services or go for uh, some other job or university job academic so there are so many channels are there or you uh, i mean uh, start your own startup or you within your circle you see whether there is an industry whether you can go a fertilizer company and join there so everything for everything there are several opportunities are there it is our aptitude and uh, our humility that means you should not feel inferior to join a, a lower job yes that is a stepping stone for you it uh, enhances your life experience also yes sir sir thank you sir thank you very much for joining this session you actually uh, made uh, light and illuminated overall this session also i think most of the students will not only uh, from this session they would be getting information or maybe inspiration just for afo exam but overall they can understand uh, the banking system also and overall i think they can understand how even they can make their career better because overall like sir your experience whatever you shared it was very very enriching so uh, that's it from our side we we are thankful to you sir uh, for being here and for sharing us your golden uh, experiences as well as your thoughts thank you very much yeah and what i can say sir uh, that sayonara that's it sir thank you very much <laughs> yeah yeah thanks to olive wood also uh, yes, let sir. us be in touch it is a yes, only a sharing of knowledge okay yes sir yes sir yeah sayonara yeah sir sayonara thank you sir